Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting factorial problem today. 10 factorial over 6 factorial equal to x factorial. Ok, let's try to solve it. I swear it will be really interesting. We know that 10 factorial is a product from 10 to 1 or from 1 to 10, doesn't matter. Let's try to write this 10 factorial. Ok, we know that this is a product, so 10 factorial times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, this is our 10 factorial. And what about this 6 factorial? This is as well a product from 1 to 6 or from 6 to 1. Let's go with 6. Yeah, so 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. Yeah, so this is our left hand side. And as a result, take a look 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the same as this one. So we can easily cancel this. This is a multiplication all the time. So we cancel this expression. Yeah, we can easily we can easily do it. But this is our left hand side. On the right hand side we have x factorial. So we need to work with this x factorial. So let's write this one. So we still have 10 times 9 times 8 and times 7 equal to x factorial. So it's kind of weird equation because we like uh, used to solve it with x, but right here we have x factorial. What about the solution to this problem? This will be really interesting. 10 factorial we can easily write as 1 times 2 times 5. 9, fa uh, 9 we can write it as 3 times 3. So this is our 10 right here. This is our 9. So I write it right here. This is our 9. 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 because this is our 8 so times 2 times 2 times 2 this is our 8 I write it right here and 7 7 is a prime number so we still have this 7 like that so 7 equal to x factorial and right now what is the main idea how can we solve it let's try to step by step to create this factorial to express these all elements as a factorial yeah so we have one yeah right here we have one so let's write this one and right here I I cancel this one because I, we cannot use this more so I cancel this one let's go with two let's find two okay we, f we, f we find two so times two and I cancel this two right here okay the next one we need three so 3 I have right here, so times 3 and I cancel this. What about 4? Yeah, so let's look, we have 2 times 2, this is our 4. So we, we have 4 and I cancel this, so times 4. Let's go next, what about 5? Uh, I guess, yeah, we have 5, so times 5. Let's go next, we need to find 6, so we still have like 3, which is really good, and we need 2, yeah, we have 2, yeah, so 3 times 2 we cancel it, so times 6 and we will have 7 so I cancel this so times 7 equal to x x factorial and this is brilliant expression because we we can easily write this expression as 7 factorial yeah we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 factorial equal to x factorial yeah we have on the right hand side and as a result or we can easily cancel factorial or we can easily by inspection t so there is no other way that x equal to x equal to 7. Really interesting math problem. I hope you enjoy it. I try to find a really interesting math problem on my channel and I hope you enjoyed this question with factorials. I like this really question really much because this is like maybe a little bit tricky question, really really interesting with factorial. So I hope you enjoy it. And a lot of students do this mistake, they try to like cancel this, so they divide by two and we'll have like 5 factorial over 3, so they works with uh, they do like that, but the answer and solution is the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, write any comment and subscribe for more videos. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day and see you in the next videos. Take care of yourself.